hello guys welcome to mr legend crypto market update guys we have a mixed day in the crypto markets today some more coins are dumping to go bling town we've gone a weekly time frame all coins have been having a terrible week in the last one month some all coins are still pumping but we're still deep in the crypto bear market in this video we'll take a look at new stories happening in the crypto world we'll also be looking at the king of the market bitcoin currently trading around sixteen thousand seven hundred dollars what's next for bitcoin in the bear market king of all coins in the market ethereum currently at one thousand two hundred dollars still holding the lows we set in june 2022 where is the altcoin market heading to in the coming weeks and the coming months? Will Bitcoin dominance increase anytime soon, taking the altcoin market down? We'll be talking about that and more in this video. But first, guys, when it comes to investing, nothing will pay off more than educating yourself. And investment in knowledge pays the best interest. So if you want to make money long-term trading or investing in cryptocurrencies, if you want to get the latest crypto news, price predictions, and chart analysis, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Let's get down to business. One, two, three, four, five. Guys, the altcoin market has been very, very volatile in the last one week. We have seen a lot of altcoins dumped to Goblin Town in the last one week. Are we going to get any relief before the end of 2022? Or are we going to see a further dump to Goblin Town? 16k retest most likely part for bitcoin according to two derivative metrics top traders long to short ratio and stronger demand for stable coins in asia indicates higher odds to further price correction right now bitcoin is trading around sixteen thousand seven hundred dollars and there's a very strong possibility to see bitcoin retest that sixteen thousand dollar region if that level doesn't hold guys bitcoin might be heading for a new all-time low we have seen bitcoin get to as low as fifteen thousand five hundred dollars in this bear market a lot of us are expecting the bottom to be in, but if we're not at the bottom right now, guys, we are closer to the bottom than we are to the top. 2022 has been brutal for Bitcoin. We have seen Bitcoin start the ending phases of 2021 at $69,000 by November, and we have seen it drop to $15,500, losing more than 77% of its value in around 408 days. Are we going to see Bitcoin pump into the upside? Ethereum, the king of all coins in the market, is still holding the lows we set in June. We have not seen Ethereum go lower than that $900 level where it dropped to in June 2022. Even though we saw Ethereum rally to the $2,000 level, right now, there's a lot of fear in the market. A lot of people are expecting Ethereum to break those lows, even getting to as low as $600. The line in the sand for Ethereum where trouble will start ringing and everybody will start getting scared might be if we see ETH dropping below that $1,000 region. We have come to test that level two different times and we have seen Ethereum hold very, very strong. Coinbase CEO says regulate centralized actors but leave DeFi alone. Armstrong said that because centralized exchanges are custodian, have the most risks of causing customer harms, regulators must focus first there, first and foremost. If we take a look at the Crypto Fee and Grid Index, Right now, the crypto market is still in fear. Guys, that's an improvement from the extreme fear we saw in the crypto market in the last several months. Right now, the market is slowly getting towards fear. But still, we're still deep in fear. And if you want to be investing for the long term, right now will probably be the time to start checking out those altcoins, taking a look at Bitcoin. Because guys, in the bear market, is where millionaires are made. When the market is in fear and extreme fear, it's when you want to be accumulating. At some point in time in the future, we are going to see the Crypto Fear and Greed Index head back to greed. That's why you want to be selling some of your Bitcoin. Gate.io is getting closer to launching a US service after receiving local licenses. Gate US said it obtains licenses to operate in several US states along with a money service license from FinSec leading up to its local launch. The top 10 cryptocurrency market capitalization is still unchanged, but we'll have some huge losers in the last seven days. XRP is down 10% in the last seven days. Dogecoin is down 16% in the last seven days. ADA is down 14%, and Polygon Matic is down 10%. All coin market took a rich, the all coin market took a beating in the last seven days. The top gainers and the top losers in the last 24 hours. In the gainers section, we have Immutable X up 11%, XDC is up 8%, Mina is up 5%, Bitcoin store value is up 4.5%. Now in the loser section, Tonecoin is down 10%, Chain is down 9%, Multiverse X is down 7%, and Trust Wallet Token is down 6.6%. FTX wanted to claw back political donations and contributions. The exchange has warned those who receive payments from FTX or its former executive that is looking to recover funds even if they were donated to charity. Interesting to see. 
Vitaly Botrin reveals three huge opportunities for crypto in 2023. There's still plenty of rooms of innovation, according to Ethereum co founder. And 2023 will be a year of huge opportunities. You have to stick around if you want to be profitable in the cryptocurrency market. Now, Bitcoin dominance has been going up in the last couple of weeks. Guys, this is bad signs for all coins. If Bitcoin dominance continues heading up to the upside, we may see a very, very huge dump in the altcoin market. In the previous bear market, we saw Bitcoin dominance heading to that 73% region. I don't believe Bitcoin dominance will get that high in this bear market. Maybe just maybe we'll see Bitcoin dominance get to that 58% region. But guys, that will still mean trouble for altcoins. But that will also be the best time to accumulate altcoins. Because we're going to see altcoins dump to Goblin Town. And for Bitcoin dominance to get to that 58% region, Bitcoin dominance will have to go up 37% from the 42% region where we are right now. $1.7 million in Bitcoin tied to Quadrica CX reawakens after years of dormancy. The wallets were thought to be inaccessible following the death of the exchange founder in 2018 as he has sole responsibility for the wallet's private keys. But we heard that some of those Bitcoins are on the move. So does somebody have those private keys? If we take a look at the Crypto Unicorn Index, we only have 38 projects that have a market capitalization of over a billion dollars. At the top of the bull run, we had over 135 projects with a market cap of over a billion dollars. That what happens in the bear market. In the previous bottom of the bear market in 2018, we had only 11 projects with a market cap of over a billion dollars after we had more than 40 projects at the top of the bull run. So that's what happens in the bear market. Sam Beckman Fry agrees to US extradition to put customers right. That's what reports is telling us. The former FTX CEO attended an emergency hearing of the Bahamas Magistrate Court just hours earlier, returning to prison following the event. The all coin season index is telling us right now we're in Bitcoin season. You want to be careful with all coins, guys. All coins are very, very volatile and we can see them further down to Goblin Town. But if you're going to be holding them for the long term, now is the time to start looking out for your favorite all coin to scoop them on the low. And Binance to increase stake in Tokyo crypto after initial investment in 2020. This is the third licensed Asian cryptocurrency exchange Binance has upped its stake in as it expands its global reach. The company has shown some signs of struggling. And Binance is here to save them. If you take a look at what the total crypto market is doing, guys, if you take a look at the total crypto market cap currently at $769 billion. We're currently at the 2018 all-time high. This is a very, very crucial point in time. If we lose the 2018 all-time high, we might see the total crypto market cap drop swiftly to maybe the $500 billion region. There's always a possibility. But right now, we're closer to the bottom than we are to the top in the bear market. The bear market is probably done. We have gone through the hard part. All coins are down really bad. Now let's get ready for a very long sideways time. So I believe 2023 might probably be the year of accumulation. If you take a look at the total crypto market cap, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum, you can see that we're currently losing the 2018 all-time high. We're slowly dumping below the $300 billion region. And guys, if we see that dump coming, the dump I'm saying that might happen, if we see Bitcoin dominance increasing, we might see the total crypto market cap, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum, head to the $176 billion region. For where we're currently trading right now, it will mean across board, you see all coins have maybe a 40 to 50% dump. That's very, very possible in the bear market. You have to be ready for all the eventualities. If you take a look at the dollar, the US dollar currency index, we've been tracking this index for a very long time. We realize that anytime it's dumping, crypto is always having a nice time. But the last time we saw it dump, crypto didn't have a nice time. So I'm sure if we see it pump again, we might see the cryptocurrency market dumping one final time to Goblin Town. Binance US said to acquire Voyage Digital Assets for $1 billion. Previously, FTX US was the largest bidder for the firm assets with an offer of $1.4 billion. But here, right now, we're hearing Binance.us is going to acquire Voyage Digital for a billion dollars. If we take a look at liquidations in the last 24 hours, a lot of traders are getting liquidated. Over 34,000 traders were liquidated in the last 24 hours. The largest liquidation happened on BitMix. One trader was liquidated for $1.85 million. Total liquidation in the last 24 hours accounted for $83.23 million. Guys, you want to be careful out there in the bear market. A lot of people are trying to shut the market thinking we're dumping to Goblin Town. But what will happen if the market reverses up? A lot of people are going to get liquidated. So guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. Where do you see the crypto market heading to in the coming days and the coming weeks? Is the bottom in for us right now in the bear market? 
or are we going to get that one final dump to the downside thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime i drop a new video see you guys in my next video